it awesome to see some of your favorite content creators and favorite people who follow here on this app be a part of this amazing community called The Nerd Initiative. <laughs> me too, me too. Even if um, I knew uh, it was terrible. <laughs> Still just as shocking. And to see people's reactions, I bet it, it was so great. Uh, hi there, everybody. It's Donovan Rose from Nerd Initiative. And today I am talking about White Lotus Season 2. And I am joined by a very special guest. She's a very talented actress who plays uh, Isabella in Season 2, Eleonora Romandini. Thank you so much for joining me today. I know the time difference is crazy. It's like <laughs> after 11 p.m. where you are. So I greatly appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Before we get into The White Lotus, I want to talk a little bit about you and your career. So you've been acting for several years now, but that's not originally what you wanted to do. You actually went to school and got your doctor of law degree back in 2019. So explain to me how this all came about, because you must have started acting well in law school and kind of done it all at the same time. Exactly. So um, uh, I'm not an attorney. I I just have the law degree. I uh, when I was 19, I had to choose uh, for my life for university and what to choose. I I wasn't. I was really. Um, not confident, self-conscious, and I thought I had to choose something very serious and something very conventional. And um, law seemed like very interesting from the shows and from the movies. And the university was was very beautiful, the one in Milan that I chose. And um, but while studying, I thought maybe it was the shows that were <laughs> interesting, not the love part. <laughs> and. <laughs> Uh, a lot of people that I studied with um, were very excited about the studies and I was not. I uh, I finished my studies, so I, I am very proud of that. I wanted to finish it and I wanted to uh, make it and uh, prove myself that I could do that. But uh, I'm not doing both. I, I just finished the law degree and closed that door. <laughs> And hope never to open it again. And uh, yeah, that's it. I I started acting way before that. During high school, during middle school, I started uh, acting all over uh, the way. And it was all the time. It was my uh, art. Was my plan. I wanted to be a painter. I wanted to be um, a drawer. I wanted to be an artist. And then acting. And then singing. But acting came back to me when I was uh, in university. Uh, it was an, almost an accident because I had an agency of commercials uh, with which I worked a lot. And um, they got me an audition for an Italian TV show. And I got a call back. And I was like, wait, <laughs> is this... <laughs> Are you sure? This... <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't get the part, of course. But it it was an epiphany. I was like... I could do this. This is like real life. This is serious. This is a job. This is something I could do. Of course, it, I needed the self-confidence. I needed some uh, <laughs> determination. And I started studying, uh, of course, uh, acting, uh, cinematographic acting. And uh, during that, during uh, law school, of course, because I didn't know if I if I wanted to go all the way. And uh and then I, the more I studied that, uh, the more low <laughs> went away. And uh, I thought, this is this is my place. This is what I want to do. And um, so I I wanted to finish the the low degree. But after that, like two days later, I moved to Rome. That is like the LA to <laughs> to Italy. Okay. Okay. And so two days after that, I I was waiting just for that. So yeah. <laughs> I had my mind very clear. Well, I'm glad that, you know, your your dream and your passion came around <clears throat> and ended up working for you in that, you know, you didn't end up going down the law route and in 10 years, 15 years, absolutely hated your life and regretted not taking the steps into doing what you love. So I'm very glad that you are getting these opportunities and now it's showing worldwide. So I'm very yeah. excited for that. Um, yeah. <laughs> But now I'm you've had of that too. Thank you. Yeah, no. Oh my gosh, it's just the beginning. I can't wait to see what the future holds for you. <laughs> Thank um, you. 
but you've had several projects over the past, you know, five years or so there it's been like you know little steps but this year 2022 it was kind of like a bunch of projects all came out that you're in there's like five or so projects yeah. how does it feel to have that much recognition and now worldwide your name is being all over what does it feel like does it kind of reassure you that you made the right decision that this <laughs> is what you're meant to do yeah it feels like that and it feels also incredible it feels like I I had to choose myself because what you said, hating my life uh, along the way, but I hated it <laughs> when I was in law school. So I, I had like an alarm uh, and uh, I I had to choose my life and what I wanted to do in my future. And this is, this is a dream. This is incredible. <laughs> also, like just booking it, it was incredible. The call and everything else, it was so, I thought, this is not real <laughs> and now watching it is like i'm really there <laughs> I, <laughs> That's i'm me. on that screen <laughs> it's incredible i'm i'm so glad so happy so proud and uh like all the all, all the effort paid off and all the determination and all the uh, the tough parts all the nose and uh covid period it was like hi oh, yeah i bet <laughs> yeah. that was horrible that was terrible but i was so sure i wanted to do this that it was like okay it's not this year not this year but this thing white lotus i could never imagine imagine something like that <laughs> never so how did it come about was there just like a casting call for people from italy or how did it work exactly the process for getting cast in the white lotus so uh the uh, american casting called the uh act uh, casting director called the italian casting di directors uh, uh francesco vedovati and barbara giordani that are great and uh, they called the agencies here in Italy so a lot of self tapes were made <laughs> and uh yeah it was uh it was just that step was uh incredible too and it, the scenes were so great so fun and uh, so I did a self tape that's it and after that I get I got uh, the call back when Mike was in Rome for a location shooting for location scouting and um so I got the call back I went and it was it <laughs> I, I I did it <laughs> it was incredible I bet a lot of people did the self safe and getting it is yeah out of all those people it, I mean, you have to feel good about yourself it has to feel just like wow this is yes. this is my life this is what I'm meant to do you know out of all those yes. people and it, you know like you said it's only the beginning you c can't wait to see where you go five or so projects this year alone so that's just crazy and to think about the progress um and have you seen some of the feedback, the comments that you've been getting since this season has aired? I mean, I have a couple comments here. This one person said, your character, Isabella, is my favorite, the only likable character on the show. And <laughs> watching the White Lotus to see your beautiful smile every week is, you know, the, the best thing about the show. So it's crazy to see all this support. What does it feel like and what does it mean to you? It means the world. And uh, it's um, it's great. It's great to see that people are watching and uh, are also watching me and uh, that they they saw me and that is very very nice. <laughs> it it was uh, very fun also to read all the comments and uh, my favorite character I was like thank you. <laughs> that that is great. And uh yeah, my smile they they talked about it a lot and I like the concierge smile. I I worked as an hostess for a lot during university, so I practice it. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, that that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, you have to smile through everything. So also a lot of people said like she smiles all the time and I was, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's exactly I'm just what happy I, to be here like <laughs> Yeah, also and I, how can I not smile? And <laughs> yeah, that that was uh, that is great, and um, it's very fun also to to read all the comments, the theories, and a lot of people told me you're going to be dead, and I'm going ah okay, <laughs> you're the killer, okay. So yeah, I put a you were a little too nice. I don't zombies. know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, as far as projects goes, you know, you had 
five or so projects this year. What do you see yourself going on in the future? Do you want to stick to more, you know, Italy projects or do you more projects that are Nash internationally, like the White Lotus things where you are becoming world now? I would love to work internationally a lot again. Uh, of course, I can't, I can, I can't imagine what uh, the future will be. But uh, starting from Italy, I would love to go worldwide and work with anyone and uh, yeah, in uh, any country. Uh, and that was incredible. So uh, also in Italy, I I love working in Italy and uh, um, being an Italian actress in Italy. It it is very uh, very nice and. Uh, also, a lot of projects are very interesting. I, I did a project of, um, on the 70s in Italy. And uh, that is very, very interesting because uh, like telling the stories of my country that I almost didn't know about because it was my, it was my parents' time and uh, they didn't tell me and we didn't study it. So uh, I studied a lot for that and it was very very interesting and uh curious to study and uh play a part in something like that so um i would love to do both but of course internationally is bigger and uh... yes yeah this is the goal that's the goal to be yeah, the actor exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well no i definitely foresee a future for you 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 did an amazing job in this show and, and i can't wait to see what for comes um Thank as you. far as the White Lotus goes, did did you know what it was before auditioning or before going on set? Have you watched it? Did you just watch to prep for it? So when uh, the the self tape came, uh, White Lotus was not very advertised. Is it the right word? Uh, mm. Advertised here in Italy, it is uh, broadcasted by Sky. Um, that. Uh, advertises a lot of the Italian projects uh, oh. produced by Sky and the HBO um, uh, shows are like they, I think they think that they are self <laughs> advertised it's just HBO what, what can you say right right <laughs> so, uh, it was not very um, spoken about it so uh, I didn't know about it but when the self tape came um, I watched the first episode and uh we said with, with my boyfriend we said okay let's watch it all <laughs> this is so great we will shoot it tomorrow I don't care I was <laughs> ready and <laughs> we will shoot it tomorrow I, I this is too good I and when something is that good it is uh very um exciting to do a self-tip for something like that and also when I finished it I, I was like okay this is so big so big, even if I didn't know about how big it was, when I got to the set, they told me, you can't imagine how big is this. And I was like, oh, okay, this is... This is <laughs> I'm great. ready, I'm ready. <laughs> the Emmy weren't uh, even uh, close to that period. So they just told us, yeah, all my friends watched it. Oh, that's great. <laughs> but we didn't know really. And now we're watching how great it, it is. We could see that, but uh, of course, if nobody speaks about it it's uh very different but i could see it also from the script it was so good so <laughs> it was uh very exciting and so we did the self tape just with the for the fun because <laughs> we we didn't know it. it was so good it's so great i thought let's do it like let's have fun let's do it like that the the scene is great so uh, no expectations let's do this and then the call back and then the call and it happened. <laughs> Never, you know, the one in a million to think if you didn't do it, but no, I, I'm doing it. I'm just going to give it a shot. Don't expect anything. Yeah. Those are the best, the best ones when you aren't expecting anything and then you end up getting it. It's like, oh my gosh, that's, that's absolutely crazy. Yeah. With this job, you don't have to expect anything, any, any no, anything <laughs> in <laughs> In no situation, I don't know how to say that. Uh, never. No, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think never. I understand. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, okay. for sure. For sure. <laughs> no, you don't have to expect anything. Never, because uh, it is 
it is almost impossible. There are so many things that can change. There are so many things that uh, the director, the casting director, uh, the producer, producers are thinking about and how they imagine the character. So I think I was exactly like Isabella was described and uh, I was very happy. And <laughs> so I think everything uh, um, came together. <laughs> Good. I mean, that's that's so awesome. I mean, you definitely seem like we didn't get to know Isabella too much, but what we did get to know of her, she was very sweet and very nice. And you definitely seem like that. So I feel like it was easy for you to meld into that character. Yeah, I, I did just like I was myself. Of course, when you're shooting scenes and you're acting, you're living someone else's life. But I, I was like reacting. And also with, with Sabrina, Valentina, she's such a great actress. And it was so easy, so natural all the time. And I think in our relationship, it was so intimate. Like the relationship she has with everyone else, she's different. But when she comes to us, it is, you can see her. You really can see her. You can uh, enter uh, her private life. Mm -hmm. And that's great. And that was the chemistry that happened. And uh, it was amazing it was amazing to work with her and to have all those scenes with her so uh yeah I don't know where I started but <laughs> no no that's totally fine you were no I, I totally understand and now Sabrina she's pretty big in your in Italy isn't she she's a bigger star yeah. okay yeah she is uh she has an amazing career but I think uh, after this she will have what she really deserves mm -hmm. she did very great movies she's so good She's such a great actress. I learned so much. And uh, I think uh, she will, I hope, <laughs> here in Italy, we're very... <laughs> so uh, I hope she will get everything she deserves because she's amazing. She's such an amazing artist. Good. And yeah, no, I think you both did an amazing job in your chemistry mm -hmm. in this show. Like, even, like, I know, like, she had feelings you didn't, but just together on screen, you two were always such a powerful duo and I love that you got to learn from her and her experience. So it wasn't just, oh, my gosh, I'm going on this nice big HBO show. I actually get to learn and get experience from this big star that I know from growing up. Like, it, that's so cool for you. That must be just amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. And yeah, it was such a great experience that I arrived there and I thought, OK, or either I'm going to be very anxious about everything <laughs> very scared or I'm going to enjoy it and feel like I'm here they chose me so <laughs> this is it yeah and I'm then, good enough I I deserve to be yeah. here <laughs> yeah exactly and uh, with Sabrina I thought I have a lot to learn from her and from Mike of course I, I learned so much and Jennifer when I got to see oh. to watch the their scene of, uh, of Peppa Pig we were <laughs> over there watching and we were beside and it was incredible and she improvised that and I was like, <laughs> yeah and Jennifer was improvising all the time and she's so great and I was like okay this is like an acting class for free <laughs> and, and not free even <laughs> literally you're getting, getting paid, paid for it right yeah exactly <laughs> so uh I think I I got the right attitude to go there and also learn and uh, be open and uh, ready for anything to come. And yeah, everything is like just reacting to what the other does. That That is very difficult, but uh, that is uh, the key. And uh, it was uh, very, very nice to work with them and to learn a lot and to watch them like take all those, free, all that freedom and uh, it was incredible because they're artists. We're artists. <laughs> and the, the creative part is uh, is very important. So it's nice to see how it works also like that. And also Mike, Mike li uh, like, um, likes to give freedom. So it's very interesting. Good. Yeah. And freedom is always, you know, a good thing, especially with shows like this that are so random and that you know twisty turny that you never know what's going to happen the improvision and everything like that is honestly the best part like that peppa pig 
has gone viral it's like a meme now it's everywhere so so it's it's really great <laughs> jennifer laughed so hard it i was... wouldn't have been able to contain myself i would have i would have burst out a character out of and like you did not just say that <laughs> Yeah, and also Sabrina was very concerned about it. She was like, I said that. Oh my God, is she going to be offended or something like that? But it was great. It was so great. And they chose it. So that, also a lot so of scenes uh, of Haley and uh and Adam, they told me that like the scene in which uh, uh Porsche and Aldi are talking and there's Jennifer uh beside them, and uh she's like looking at them <laughs> very serious and like and they told me that they, they, they could not stop laughing because it was so great. How can you not laugh to that? Jennifer yeah. is so great. She's like, she's an icon. She yes. She's just amazing. I'm so <laughs> devastated that what happened to her character in this show this season. Oh, my God. I, I, I literally cried. I, I bawled. But <laughs> I was like my heart was <laughs> racing and it, and then he stopped and I was oh my god no not like this right oh my gosh I I, la <laughs> I honestly scared. laugh oh my gosh I, I la when it, I was like there's no way that's she she just knocked it. she's gonna be okay like there's no way they offer like that and then they do it and I'm like wow Mike you are insane <laughs> but if you think it's perfect <laughs> it, it really is it's so it's so it's the way that that Tanya would die like that's so Tanya but, <laughs> but speaking of that for for the show is famous last season and this season is for the mystery it shows somebody dying at the beginning you don't know who until the very end so as far as the cast goes, I know in like Marvel, they have like secret scripts and things like that. Does the whole cast know right away from the beginning of the season who dies? In this case, yes. Okay. Of course, everyone can choose which scenes to read. We mm -hmm. had the script. We had the whole script. And uh, um, of course, I started with my scenes and then I went back and uh, read it all. Um, of course, it's super, hyper top secret, but uh, <laughs> we knew it. It's not uh, chronologically uh, shoot, shot, so um, you have to know. Not, not of course, the right. whole story, but uh, I think it's very useful to to know everything because uh, you're like more. You know everything. You don't. You're not scared to speak about it with the cast, and uh, uh, you know the other scenes. Like we did a rehearsal before the first day uh, with um, Mari and Michael and Adam. And uh, if I could not hear their lines or something like that, the other scenes, I I had, I was there when they rehearsed other scenes. Uh, it would have been crazy. So uh, I think this was very useful. So you know the story, you can take sides, and also the the writing is so incredible. So it's yeah, very the, I think that last scene with 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 Tanya is literally going to go down in history as one of the best. <laughs> tv scenes this year like it was crazy that whole boat her acting it was incredible i want her to win all the emmys for that scene right there <laughs> um another thing that this show is very well known for is the risque scenes it's hbo so there's a lot of you know dirty content in here and your character was one of the very few in the whole show that didn't have anything more risque are, are you kind of relieved that Isabella didn't have any type of scenes like that or are you a little bit jealous uh when I was there I was very relieved because <laughs> it was, everyone was having like the uh, the meeting with the uh, the coordinator kind of, and everything exactly yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you want to show what you <laughs> don't want to show what, uh, what you feel comfortable about it's very great that you have that opportunity and I was very relieved I was like yes everyone but me <laughs> but, then, <laughs> but then also getting uh, to know the characters and also watching it from the outside I was like 
it would have been so great between <laughs> Valentina and Isabella. <laughs> right, and they, been... oh my gosh, that would have been, Twitter would have blown right. up, oh my gosh, it would have been crazy. <laughs> exactly. So I, I kind of, I'm a bit jealous, but I'm very happy too. And also that is very fun. I, um, before the self-tape, I, I watched a video uh, that said like, um, I don't know if you watched it, it's a, a YouTube video uh, about HBO. And uh, it was like um, a lot of uh, actors speaking to their families, uh, boyfriends and girlfriends. And they were like, I got it. I got the parts. I got it. And then the other part said, oh, my God, yes. What is it? So I have to be fucked. <laughs> and I have to <laughs> and do this and this and this and this. And that's all beeped. And uh, after that, you're going to make a porn. <laughs> I need to go watch this video. I've not I'm seen that, but it sounds it hilarious. Yes, please do. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Well, no, I'm I'm glad that you know it worked out. You, you you will go down in history in this episode as one of the few people who did not have any sort of sexual encounter. Serious, <laughs> uh, right? Despite all the attempts that Valentino was giving. Um, speaking of that, do you do you think that? Um, Isabella was really that clueless that she did not know that she was being hit on or do you think that she was just like oh this is my manager because she was really stern as soon as Salvatore was hitting on her she was like no I got my man Rocco like I do not need him hitting on me but all these come on from you know Valentina she wasn't saying anything so what do you think as far as the character goes so I I have a uh, I have thought about a story of Isabella um, and I think uh, the the relationship with Rocco started so much before that. So um, and uh, Valentina's feelings um, came uh, after I told her that I valued her, mm -hmm. and it was very quick. And uh, it I I feel like um, Isabella could have felt even something, but you have a whole relationship that started and it was built before that. And uh, we spoke about this with Mike and uh, we shot a lot of versions of those scenes, like uh, the one with the brooch. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, it was uh, very creative also that that thing, because I could have uh, reacted to that uh, a lot of, in a lot of ways. Exactly. So, yeah, we, we shot a lot of vi um, various uh, versions and uh, it was like, one was like, what is she trying to, <laughs> why is she giving me? And uh, I right. was like, okay, this is nice. <laughs> and and then at the end, he told me, she's your boss. Um, What would you do? And, right. we, and it came up like that, like, um, she's not clueless. She's not stupid. But she's her boss. She doesn't want to um, not say no. But right. until she doesn't make a real move or something to say, okay, you're my boss or something like that. And also, I, th in my story, she had also mixed feelings a little bit because uh, it, it was very nice to have all, in that moment so during the scenes, it was nice to have that that look Attention. in her eyes and yeah. yeah and that chemistry was real so mm -hmm. i can't feel i can't imagine a world in which isabella doesn't uh, appreciate that so it was very mixed but also she um i i think with mike we we got to the thing that she's working she's going to be professional and that's it so she will smile she will say thank you and that's it in fact when she asks her out she is going to tell her about Rocco and uh, uh, and just to be clear maybe I thought uh, we were going to have uh, such a nice party but you're going to have the information <laughs> I'm right. going to give you the information then and then we will see and um, that's it so I think uh, there are a lot of things <laughs> Yeah, I, I definitely could tell the chemistry between you two in, in the scenes that you guys did. It was very well put together. And I think that I like the relationship that it had. It shocked me when she not only said, oh, I'm in a relationship with Rocco, but bam, we're engaged. I was like, whoa, when did this come about? Like, I had, I had no expectations of that. So that completely shocked me. Um, mm -hmm. 
but I, I I don't know. I thought it was very well put together. And Valentina, I think by the beat, by the end of it, in the very beginning, she was very by the book, follow the rules, but she kind of loosened up by the end. And I loved her story arc in it. And the fact that she was accepting of Rocco and she was just like, welcome back. And she was nice and everything like that. So it was very nice to see her kind of change her character a little bit. Yeah, she she's so great. And also the character was amazing. And I think uh, the chemistry was was real and it was important to have it. And uh, also that scene was heartbro- heartbreaking. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I I could see her, she, she's so great. We were really living that. And uh, I felt like shit, <laughs> I felt <laughs> <Literally>. terrible. <laughs> but in my story, I said, why are you going to say it like that? Maybe you know something, but you don't, I think maybe with the engagement that happened like the night before, uh, she was uh, cold to earth again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Like, this is your relationship. You're together for like two years. And exactly. uh, I, I thought like that. But then when I... When I was in that situation, Sabrina was so great. I could see her. She was almost crying and it was devastating. And after that, when we got the right one, uh, she took uh, private time. <laughs> and then I went to her and we hugged each other so much. And it, it was terrible. I, I was I said, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh I don't know God. if I would have chosen Rock. <laughs> <laughs> right. Never mind. I choose Valentina. Rocco yes. can go back to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It, it, I think uh, like everything else, uh, this relationship and uh, Isabella and Sabri and Valentina, we are also human, and there are so many uh, thoughts and uh, considerations to make. That mm-hmm. is very interesting. Also to listen to the choices that everyone made so yeah (laughs) yeah no this season I think honestly in my opinion I loved the first season a lot but I think this season stepped it up a lot um it had so many more twists and turns and really kept you guessing until the very end and it still left you with so many unanswered questions in the first season everybody kind of had their book closed and everything like that this one left so many open with like Greg and everything like that so I don't know. Do you think that this season could kind of go into a future season? Or do you think that this is just, you know, every scene is every season is going to be completely start fresh? I mean, we I know we had Tanya and Greg this season, but do you think that this ending could play into a future season? I think that someone could come back like uh, it happened this season. But I think the fresh start is uh, very inspiring for Mike. So um, I think, I, I don't know how he can make it better and better every time. I have no idea. It was <laughs> so incredible. But also the first season, I loved it so much. The mm-hmm. costumes, it's such the a different story. show. Like, you know, yes, the first exactly. it, the first time, it's like, I don't like, and the music, honestly, the you intro, the intro them. music is so good. Like, I don't even, it's like hypnotizes you that you have to watch the show. I don't know what it is about the intro music, but it's oh. wonderful. And the it's show is so different. <laughs> And I can't wait for season three. Where would you like them to go in season three? Hmm. I don't know. I think um, Paris or something like that. Also, Europe. Yes. And also yeah. Isabella is alive, so <laughs> they True. can she, call me. She, she could be the one. She could be going on her honeymoon with Rocco. Oh, Mike, maybe. take notes. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Or Valentina. She, Her and Rocco broke up. <laughs> I would love that too. That yeah, like low key passing <laughs> by. Yeah, just in the background, they're checking in or something. That would be funny. Exactly. <laughs> but no, I, I think we should have somewhere on land. I mean, we had Hawaii and now we have Italy where there's the ocean and ever. We should have somewhere on land so no one can drown. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> but we should, yeah, like Paris or something like, oh, that would be so beautiful. Push someone off the Eiffel Tower. That's what the death note is. <laughs> That would be nice. <laughs> but yes, um, I thought about Paris and the magic and the mysteries or something like that. But who knows? That would, and, and I think what he said, I forget what he said. He said 
at la- the first season he did like a after the show like talk thing and after the last episode and he said that the first season was about money this season was about sex and next season is going to be something about death i mean i don't know how they're not all about death because there was like four <laughs> people five people killed in this season so <laughs> but, but no so yeah that would be very interesting to see the death in the city of love that would be really cool wow <laughs> <laughs> but what did you think of this season as a whole and not just because you're biased because you're in it <laughs> what did you think of the ending the story overall uh, versus the first I think it was so unpredictable and uh, very, the tension was like palpable. I don't know if it's a right word for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 that's a good word. (laughs) Palpabile in Italian. (laughs) It it grew and grew also in the first one, but it was so different. And the satire and the uh, politics uh, speaking and I I, I don't know, it, it is so so good and um i'm very very excited to be in this one but also i can't believe it 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 is so good it's such a great show and uh, the emmy spoke so uh, yes yes absolutely it it is incredible and i think it's one of the best shows ever and maybe i'm biased but it's (laughs) so cool no i i agree i agree it's a yeah structure and a lot of layers and uh you can open everyone's book like you can do a spin-off of everyone and i would be thrilled everyone yeah like honestly and uh and giuseppe and everyone it will be great so i think that the best stories are like that and uh, that is very great <laughs> No, I agree. And the the complexity of these stories and the fact that they all meld together, like we had Mia and oh oh my gosh, I can't even think of her name. The other the other the main one. um, Yeah. uh, Yes. Yes. We had we had them and they kind of went with everybody. They intermeaned with, you know, the the husbands and then the the three family member. They they were everywhere. And (laughs) so I like those stories where they may all have separate you know, stories within the show, but there's some sort of something that's bringing them together. And in this case, it was it was them two. And, and obviously the White Lotus at the resort, but them two kind of brought every single person together. And it, it was crazy. I, I loved, they were like the power duo in this season. Everybody was rooting for them on TikTok. And I was for yeah. them like, girl power. These girls are smart and they they know what's up. <laughs> <laughs> there was a meme of Lucia with the uh, with the um like the Avengers uh thing. oh my gosh collecting them with the, like the infinity stones yeah exactly. I literally I have the infinity like the stones of... tattooed on me so I, I laughed so hard that was so funny she's collecting <laughs> the man like the diamond. literally and oh my gosh I didn't I I mean obvi- it was kind of obvious to a lot of people but it wasn't to me for some reason that the guy that was like following her in the car and everything was like this was part of it and then at the end when she hugged him walking down I was like oh my gosh this bitch like she she she, power to her she's crazy smart but I did I did feel bad for LB I I I felt really bad for him honestly because he's just this sweet little boy but at least him and Portia exchange numbers they can talk about their traumatic vacation together now <laughs> yeah and they uh Haley posted uh stories to uh, today with uh them with a baby and she said season three <laughs> <laughs> maybe there go y'all, y'all will meet on your honeymoons together or something that <laughs> exactly <laughs> but no, no oh that, my gosh yeah this great. season they are great so yes yes this season had an amazing cast and it well I think that it was really great that it had you know that it brought in the Italian cast it felt more authentic and it felt real and immersive and it was very very good I loved it a lot and I can't wait to see where season three goes honestly me too and thank you yeah that that is that is amazing and also the mix of the cultures like in the first one it was um of course with the Hawaii it was in yeah yeah that's in America you know yeah 
but of course like the like the characters lived uh, that place mm -hmm. not like a cultural thing and not like they were just uh, doing dances but not <laughs> it, it was not very immersive about the culture but here uh following us uh locals it was uh i think very very interesting and, and that's why you could do like a season everywhere because exactly. if you mix it up like that I, I would love to watch it in Nepal or something <laughs> like yeah <laughs> right? honestly Everywhere. every locate every major location like just yeah. go, to have a white lotus there and how was it to watch the Italian parts <laughs> oh my gosh it was it was really cool to watch like the language like cause it was hard I mean it was a little bit hard honestly but it, it was cool it was cool to see and the fact that they incorporated that and they didn't just have them speak English was honestly I, I think it made the show a lot better like I said it felt immersive and it felt more real versus just oh an American show pretending that they're you know at this location and everything like that so it felt much more immersive and real and obviously I think having the actual you know Italian actors and actresses added so much more to it than just having you know American people trying to fake it yeah that that is I think uh, one of the best thing that could have been chosen because when we read that there were so many scenes in Italian, it was like, this is how you do it. <laughs> this, if you follow, there are so many shows like uh, in Italy, but everyone speaks in English or mm -hmm. some other language and, or in English, but with a voice uh, like this. And uh, yep, and, yep, yep. So that was very, very, very nice. And uh, incredible, yeah. <laughs> Well, good. I'm so glad. It sounds like you had a great experience on this show and it shows that, you know, you guys are like a big old family, the White Lotus season two family, and you learned so much. And it was a very big hit with the audience season three. I can't wait to see where it goes. And I thank you so much for sitting down and joining me tonight, chatting about this season and your experience. I don't want to hold you up much longer because, you know, you got to get to bed. It is late. You have big plans <laughs> coming up. I know you're going to London in the next couple days so you yes. need to go get some sleep and some rest but I thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and joining me and chatting about the White Lotus season two. Thank you thank you very much it was great.